I'm in no rush to do this match review. I simply cannot be asked to watch this club much longer. I really cannot be asked. It's so depressing, man. It really is. And it's finished at the Brentford Community Stadium. Brentford won Newcastle United nil. Or should I say, Brentford won the useless sacks of shit you call Newcastle United nil. And Brentford have made it through to the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup and Newcastle United. Oh, what a surprise. Have been knocked out to a lower league opposition in Brentford who, I have to say, deserved to go through. We did not deserve to go through tonight in that game. I called it from the very get-go when I seen both lineups for both Newcastle and Brentford. And do you know what made me laugh? Looking at both lineups, Brentford didn't even start off with two of their better players in Ivan Tony and in Boemo. Yet we played our strongest lineup in Callum Wilson, Ryan Fraser, Almiron, John Joe Shelby, Isaac Hayden, just to name a few. Yet we've still come unstuck against Brentford, who, yes, okay. We know they're organised. We know that they're well-drilled. They're a good side, very similar to Leeds. But with that side and Brentford not fielding two of their better players, there was our chance. And I said it all along before the game. If we don't notch two goals in this first half, Brentford will unleash Embuemo and Ivan Tony and cause the damage. And yet, Steve Bruce still didn't react in the game when it was all going for Brentford. Brentford, for me, controlled that full game for the full 90 minutes. We just did not look like competing in that match tonight. This is one of our biggest games in around seven years since we took on Benfica in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Or you could say 15 years since the last time we made the semi-finals of a League Cup or an FA Cup competition. Yet, somehow, we've bottled the big occasion yet again. And do you know what it is? I'm not surprised. I don't want to shout because I've seen it all coming. I really did. I wasn't even confident going into the game. This is meant to be a quarter-final, one of our biggest games, yet I'm not even up for it. And you can see why tonight. Because those spineless bunch of mugs or wankers didn't bother showing up. Now, I'm sorry to say it, but if anyone defends Steve Bruce after this, then I'm sorry you're getting paid by the club. You're on the payroll because I can't defend Steve Bruce tonight. I really can't. Despite him playing a good side, despite him making the changes in the second half when he did, I'm sorry to say it, but if you can't motivate these lads to go and put a show in the quarterfinals of Carabao Cup against a championship opposition, then you never will. And it's been proven tonight. The evidence is in. The evidence is in. This has to be Steve Bruce's last game in charge of Newcastle United. There's no way now that he can stay on as Newcastle United manager. Because I tell you what it is, I'm sick to the back teeth watching this football. I'm sick to the back teeth watching these bunch of spineless cowards go out there and put up a show like that. Honestly, fair play to Brentford. I take nothing away from your performance. But to get outdone by a championship side, yes, it can only be applauded for Brentford. But come on, man. When you've got you know millions of pounds worth of talent in that side, that I've said it before, we've got some decent players, but we're getting shown up by worse off sides, if you like. Even against Newport beforehand, we are lucky to get through. It only took a John Joe Shelby worldy strike to get it into a penalty show. Even then again, we struggled on that. Honestly, and tonight has just been... Sh we've been shown up by Brentford, who, yes, should be a Premier League side this season. But that's not the point. This side is playing in the Championship. And we've been taught a lesson. We are a Championship side now. I'm sorry to say we are not a Premier League side. And it's only because Callum Wilson... It's been scoring a few crucial goals at the start of the season to be where we are in 12th place. For me, if it wasn't for him, we'd be in the bottom three. And I'm not saying that he was fantastic tonight because he wasn't. None of them were great. Not one of them. Not one player in that turn shirt tonight showed up. Not one of them. You could say Darlow, maybe. But apart from that, you tell me who was actually good in that game. Because when I watched it, right, that first half alone, why are we continuing to pass the ball back to the defenders and then the goalkeeper. Why? Against Brentford. Brentford. And that's what we do. Against Brentford. There's no fans there. There's no pressure. Yet we're playing like we're under pressure. Why? Oh, I know why. Because Steve Bruce tends to pick this 4-4-2 formation. Yet it still looks like five at the back. The players are completely clueless. They really are. They're clueless because we've got a clueless manager. And I'll tell you what it is tonight, right? Steve Bruce's job is untenable. It has to be. Look at the recent performances. Look at the fixtures coming up. Where is our next win coming from? I'll tell you what it is. 
It could be a few months yet. It really could be. And that's not being over the top. For what I'm seeing tonight, right, or what I've seen, tells me that I am really concerned. We are going to be in a massive relegation fight now. And I'll tell you what it is. Our season is finished. Well and truly up. I don't care what anyone says, right? Oh, but we've got Arsenal in the FA Cup. Sod the FA Cup. We're not going to win it. We're not going to beat Arsenal, right? If we can't beat Brentford, we can't beat Arsenal. It doesn't matter how bad they've played this season, right? If we can't compete with championship opposition, then who can we compete with? I mean, fucking hell. We couldn't even compete with Rochdale last season, man. Rochdale. Oxford. Honestly, man, it's embarrassing. I can't even be asked to make videos anymore because I'm that depressed watching Newcastle United. I knew exactly what was going to happen in the match tonight. I could see it. I could see it from a mile off. I really could. And I'll tell you what it is. Honestly, if anyone backs up Steve Bruce tonight, then I'm sorry, but the club are paying you. They're paying you. Because that performance for me is unforgivable. It really is unforgivable. Honestly, that is not worthy of you know Premier League level. It isn't. It really isn't. We got totally outdone. You wouldn't know who was the championship in the Premier League side. Actually, yeah, Brentford were the Premier League side. Honestly, I was bored watching it. I was bored watching a quarter final, the first half alone, man. Awful. Absolutely awful. Absolutely abysmal. I mean, I said before the Brentford game, I actually I said before Fulham. Fulham and Brentford are Steve Bruce's biggest games. Fulham because we've got the likes of um, Manchester City, Liverpool and Leicester coming up. And then Brentford because it's the biggest game in 15 years. But we've shown up like it's been the third round of the Carabao Cup. This is not the third round of the Carabao Cup. This is the quarterfinal. And Newcastle won't get a better opportunity to try and win a bit of silverware. But yet again, we'll come unstuck against these worse off opposition. Honestly, I've had enough. And don't get me started with the players tonight because I'll tell you what it is, right? All of them better hang their heads in shame. They've shown up this football club. And Steve Bruce, his backroom staff, they all better piss off. Because I'll tell you what it is, right? They're done. They are finished. We need new ideas. We need a new young manager who's going to come in and drill these players and play a better formation that's going to get better results. That's going to get the best out of the players that we've got. Because I'll tell you what it is, under Steve Bruce... If the cracks haven't shown already before the Brentford game, well, have well and truly shown tonight. The evidence is there. The proof is in the pudding. We are not a good side. We are not a good side. And I do fear for us against Manchester City. We'll get absolutely humped. 5 or 6 0. Liverpool, same outcome. Probably, if not more, double figures. Leicester, probably the same outcome as last season. 5 0. I mean, come on, man. If we can't compete with Brentford, like I've said before, who can Newcastle United realistically compete with? Probably Sunderland, maybe in League One. If I'm being nice, come on, man. Honestly, how does Steve Bruce get any more games now? He can't get any more games. Mike Ashley's got to do the right thing and don't make the same mistake that you made in 15-16 when Steve McLaren was the manager and do it too late. Yeah, we might be 12th in the league, but we shouldn't be there. We really should not be 12th in the league. We are an awful sight to watch. We play the worst football in the league. We've got the worst stats in the Premier League. And I'll tell you what it is, right? Even the sides at the bottom are doing better. Burnley, West Brom... They're all picking up points, you know, at some stages of, you know, of games. We, we've declined big time. We are on a massive, massive decline. And uh, this club stinks from top to bottom. It really does. And uh, the quicker Mike Ashley fucks off, the better. The quicker we're going to take over, the better. Because i tell you what it is, right? I want to get rid of all these clueless people that run this football club. Because i tell you what it is, right? That was a big chance wasted tonight. It really was. There's no getting away from it. And yet... The better side have got through. They really have. And um, let's be honest, first half alone, Brentford could have been 2 3 1 up, something like that. Honestly, man, it's all too predictable. I mean, the first half, right? Brentford, they actually hit the crossbar around the 11th minute. And that there set up what was to be a dominant performance by Brentford. They also had a header, which uh, I think was Carlos put wide. Come on, man, what are you doing there? You've got to put that in. I mean, again, ball watching. Jamal Lewis, Clark, the whole lot of them just ball watching. We did it against Fulham. And we've done it again tonight. I mean, come on, man. And then what well, only chances really in that first half, you would say, well, the best one fell to Ryan Fraser, which it was a good save by their keeper. But, you know, Wilson maybe going one-on-one -on -one could have done better there. But that was about it. We didn't do much in the game. 
This is the thing. Like, we're seeing nothing from anyone. Do you know what I mean? We've paid 20 million plus quid for Almiron. We've paid 40 million for Joe Linton. It took Joe Linton to come on to make the mistake for Brentford to then take the lead on 66 minutes through De Silva. And by the way, uh, the ball across to him was great. It was excellent. But where the fuck was the defending? Who's picking him up? He's got the freedom of the Brentford Community Stadium to just smash that in past Dolo. He's got absolutely no chance. Again, ball watching. Who is picking up De Silva? Tell us. Who's picking him up? It's all too common of a theme. We can't defend. Steve Bruce, you're meant to be a defender. You're telling me your, your um, coaching staff can't coach him in defending. Again, we're, we're struggling to put fucking tackles in, man. We did it against their uh, leads, not putting challenges in. And we've been rightly punished. And to be fair, when the likes of Ivan Tony came on, you just knew exactly what was going to happen. It was only a matter of time before they got that second, third, fourth, fifth. Yeah, we're lucky that we're, we only got beat 1-0, but it could have been more to Brentford. You know, they're a good side, a world road side. Steve Bruce hasn't done his homework on Thomas Frank because if he did, then we would not have been outplayed like we were tonight. Thomas Frank has done his homework on Steve Bruce and he's well and truly schooled Steve Bruce in tactics yet again, just like Marcelo Bielsa did, just like Scott Parker did. Steve Bruce, right, does not belong in the Premier League. His tactics are totally outdated and the players, right, I don't care what anyone says, right, the players are not playing for him. They're not. Because if the players were playing for him, then we would have got the performances at the start of the season right now. Because I'll tell you what it is, we've been on a massive, massive, massive backward step. We really have. We're going backwards each and every week that passes by. We're not getting better. We're getting worse. We're getting worse. And um, I don't want to shout in front of the camera because it's just not worth getting over angry because you can just see it coming that we're going to get knocked out. And I'm not being all salty. Brentford, they deserve to go through. And what I'm saying is you could have won by more than just 1-0. It's just utterly embarrassing, man. It really is. It's really, really embarrassing. And um, honest, the players now, right, they'll probably not even give a fuck. They'll be travelling back now and they'll be like, oh, we'll get ready for Manchester City. Honestly, that's what they'll be like. They, they, they don't care. Nobody cares. Honestly, I just, I don't know what more to say anymore. I really don't. It's just, this club is an absolute comedy. It really is. You just know exactly what's going on. You know exactly what's going on from week to week. It's all too predictable. And if Steve Bruce doesn't lose his job, then I'm sorry to say, but I think we could be getting relegated. Our season is finished. We've got nothing more to play for now. And don't bring up the FA Cup as mentioned because that's done as well. It's going to be the same old predictable, boring football, the same old predictable, let's just finish mid-table or we could even be in a relegation battle. It's going to be one of them two come the end of the season. And now I'm struggling to really get up to making videos now because the season's done. We've played 13 games and my season's finished. 13 games. Season's done. Oh, man, honestly. I'm, I've honestly passed Karen. That's why I've been in no rush to make this preview, to get it out so early, because I need to calm down, because <laughs> what I've seen out there was just all too predictable. And um, yes, it's stressful. It is stressful. And we wanted just one thing from... Steve, Bruce and the lads just to give one, one big Christmas present to get with through at the semi-finals to potentially go on and win the Carabao Cup. But no, the lads have left nothing on that pitch tonight apart from just sheer embarrassment by a good Brentford side who on the night deserved to get through. And I take nothing away from you know the way they performed because sometimes you've got to praise the opposition when they've played well in the half. But for us, that's just... I don't have any words really for that performance. They totally outdone win pretty much everything. Shots on target, shots off target. Possession, I think they had a bit more possession than us. I mean, they actually worked the ball better than what we did. We gave the ball away countlessly, numerous times. This whole back passing as well, it's just... Oh. Honestly, I, I don't know what more I can say about it. Uh, I'll be back with the Man City preview if I can be bothered to do it. Um, also, have a good Christmas and uh, I wish you all well. Stay safe. And in the meantime, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, hit the like button if you can be bothered to, and put your comments down below if you can be bothered to as well. So thank you so much for watching. Newcastle United have been knocked out at the Carabao Cup quarterfinals tonight, and Brentford have deservedly made it through to the semi-finals. And I wish them well. I hope they go on and win it, actually, just for how good they play. You know, the football is absolutely amazing uh, to watch, but uh, you can't say the same about the cabbage uh, who manages our football club in the spineless buggers. You know, the one game which mattered the most and they couldn't be bothered to turn up.
Honestly, I hope they hang their heads in shame. I really do. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.